Has the day finally come? Will there actually be some Canon RF third party lenses? Well, according to this report, Sigma will actually be releasing two RF mount lenses to start with. In the article, it actually says an unknown source has reached out a couple of times about this topic, and it seems pretty confident that it will happen within the next six to eight months. So potentially by the end of the year, there might actually be some Sigma RF lenses for everyone to go out and buy finally. Canon need third party lenses because it is one major reason why people are not buying into Canon and why people are going over to Sony because of the actual lens prices for the Canon RF mount system are really, really expensive because they're the only ones you can get are the Canon lenses. So if you want a Canon RF 50mm 1.2, you're gonna have to spend like near close to two and a half grand. The same with a 70 to 200, two and a half grand. They are so, so expensive. They do offer some lower quality ones, but again, they're lower quality. This is where Sigma comes into the actual game and they actually offer some real high quality glass such as their arts mount series for a lot cheaper price as well so that's why so many people love sigma and Sammon because they actually do get some real high quality glass for some cheap prices compared to the canon ones so if it's actually going to be happening in six to eight months that's going to be absolutely amazing and i really can't wait and lower down in this article it actually says what lenses there are but before we get into that be careful and be warned because this is a cr1 and a cr1 basically means on canon rumor scale it's not the most reliable source ever CR3 is a fact and a CR2 is a source is from a known reliable source. CR1 is from an unknown source as it says down here. So it is an unknown source so they could just be making it up or they could actually be telling the truth and we actually might get some Sigma lenses within the next year. This is a guess. It says they are just guessing which lenses they'll actually be but they actually do think from a business standpoint which would make sense for both companies it will be a Sigma 50mm f1.4 because Canon don't actually have a Canon 50mm f1.4 so that will be perfect for Sigma to make and obviously like I said with the 50mm f1.2 it just bridges the gap between the nifty 50 at like 200 pounds and then the 50mm 1.2 at like two and a half grand. I'd guess in the 50mm 1.4 will come in at around 800 pounds to a thousand pounds it depends like if it's an art series camera or not and how good they actually do make it it may actually be cheaper than that a lot of 500 600 pounds but this is actually what they actually think. So it would be great if they do release a 51.4 because I love my Nifty 50. However, sometimes I don't use it all the time because it isn't the best lens ever, especially with the build quality. But if Sigma actually do release a 50mm f1.4, I'd imagine the build quality would be great and the image quality will also be amazing. So I do think that'll be a very popular lens. And also a Sigma 17 to 50mm f2.8. And this will actually be for the RFS mount. Now, obviously this actually might not happen, but this is what they think. But if they do release an RFS mount zoom, a uh, 17 to 50 f2.8, which is equivalent to a 24 to 70 f2.8. For the R10, the R7, this will be one of the best lenses Sigma could actually put out there right now. Because if you're gonna be going for like an R10, an R7, you probably don't have the biggest budget in the world to be splashing on full frame cameras and full frame glass. So if you do are in the mix of a Canon R7 or maybe even a Canon R10 and you want a, a set like a 24 to 70 f2.8, you do have to spend a lot of money like I think it's like two and a half grand as well for the Canon RF version. Or if you can get the EF mounts, which I'm looking into, like the Canon EF 24 to 70, or even the Sigma one, again, they're quite expensive and they're really heavy as well. If Sigma actually do release a smaller 17 to 50 f2.8, that is the perfect lens for everyone because a 17 to 50, which is a 24 to 70, is probably the perfect lens that can do pretty much everything. It's got a lovely wide angle lens, you can punch in at 70 mil, and the fact that this actually be really small and compact as well that you can fit with your R10 and your R7 I think that will be amazing and it will be one of the most popular lenses out there especially because the price will be so good so what do you think do you think this will actually be true are Canon actually going to be allowing Sigma to make some lenses will we actually see some within the next year I really do hope so because as much as I do love getting Canon RF lenses such as an RF 24 to 70 it is just too expensive for me so I am looking at the EF versions and the EF versions do work perfectly fine and you can get a Sigma lens on the EF, but you do actually have to adapt it over to it, which is obviously, it makes the lens a little bit heavier and also longer as well, which isn't the biggest deal in the world, but a normal native RF mount Sigma lens would be perfect for this Canon system. What do you actually think? You leave your comments down below. I really wanna know your thoughts. Are you excited for this? Do you think this is gonna be real or not? Will you be picking up some of these lenses? Will you like the 50mm 1.4? If you have an R7 or 
and R10, will this lens be perfect for you? Because I really do think it'll be perfect for a lot of people. So that's the end of the article anyway. Fingers crossed this will actually will happen and I'm really excited for it to actually do eventually happen because sooner or later we will have some third party lenses for Canon, just sadly not at the minute. So leave your comments down below, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future and I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. See you later.